In example two, we are going to determine how many and what type of solutions we will get for each of the problems below. So if we were to solve this problem, 3x squared minus 2x plus 9 is equal to 0, using the discriminant, we can tell what type of solutions we have and how many by using the discriminant. Remember, the discriminant is b squared minus 4 times a times c. The a, b, and c's are coming from our equation. The a value is always the number in front of the x squared. So we know for this problem, a is equal to 3. b is always the number in front of the x. So here, b is equal to negative 2. And our c value is always our constant. So in this problem, our c value is equal to 9. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in to this formula. So we're going to take b squared. Now, b is a negative 2. It must be in parentheses before you square it. So b squared minus 4 times our a value. Remember, a is 3 times our c value, which is 9. You can type this whole thing in your calculator. But remember, if you don't put the parentheses around this negative number here before you square it, you're going to get all those answers incorrect. If you are afraid you might forget, then always put the parentheses around so you don't have to remember that. But negative 2 squared should be a positive 4 with the parentheses. If you don't do the parentheses, it would be a negative 4. So make sure you have the parentheses. Go ahead and plug that in your calculator. And you should see that you get an answer of negative 104. Because our discriminant is a negative number, that tells us that we will have no real solutions. Let's try another one, letter B. So letter B, we have negative 2x squared plus 7x minus 3 equal to 0. So first, let's label. We start with A. Remember, A is the number that's in front of the x squared. So our A is negative 2. Then if we take a look at the B value, the B value is 7. So B is equal to 7. And then if we take a look at C, C is going to be our constant, which is negative 3. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and find the discriminant. So our discriminant would be B squared, so 7 squared minus 4 times a, and a is negative 2, times c, which is negative 3. And then I want you to go ahead and plug that in your calculator. If you plug that in your calculator, you should see your discriminant is 25. So 25 is a positive number, which tells us we have two answers. And then if we take a look at it, 25 is a perfect square. It's 5 times 5. So this tells us that we will have two rational answers. Next, I'd like you to do the try this. So go ahead and pause it now. Unpause it when you're ready to check your answer. If you did the try this correctly, you should have gotten a discriminant of 61, which tells you you will have two irrational solutions. If you have any questions, please let me know.